Welcome back, everybody. It's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. This is the top 10 most expensive t-shirts, t-shirts that sold on eBay in the past two months. Each one of the t-shirts you're going to see was purchased for a minimum of several thousand dollars. Now, I will be the first to admit, you probably are not going to find one of these t-shirts at a local garage sale, estate sale, church sale, rummage sale, but you might find something interesting that you learn on this video about a particular brand or an interesting fact that I talk about that cause you to pick up an item that you otherwise may have ignored. And hopefully that will generate a lot of money for you. If not, again, hopefully you'll learn some interesting things along the way. Before I get into the top 10 list, I just want to go over a few housekeeping items. First thing I want to do is thank some of the subscribers to the Primetime Treasure YouTube channel. So please subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. I really, really enjoy the comments that you have dropped down below and all the positive feedback and constructive feedback. So thanks to Noel Griffith. Thank you very much, Sheila Hamilton. Thank you so much, Postcard Guy. Thanks so much, Robert Millett. I really appreciate the feedback. I will be turning the camera for future videos so that more of the background gets into the picture and into the videos. Uh, also, I have a tripod that is coming in the mail, so that will help stabilize some of the video shots. Uh, one other matter that I just want to go over real quick is just in terms of background. As you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I do specialize in the sale of comic books, toys, signs, pop culture items, and all uh, items that are vintage and collectible in some way. Clothing, though, is something that I am newer into getting involved with and selling. I was selling some clothing that I had around the house that you know just had been uh, something that had outgrown its usefulness uh, for you know people in the house who were wearing it so I was just trying to sell it off uh, but they weren't items that I actually had purchased for resale. My interest in purchasing clothing for resale was really something that initiated by watching YouTube videos by Casey Paris, also known as the Rockstar Flipper, and Steve Rakin from the Rakin Profits channel. And I've been watching their videos over the past year and seeing how well they were doing with clothing. And it got me interested to at least starting to obtain some clothing and looking for them and for the purchase of uh, actual for the purpose of actually reselling it. And I have uh, been pretty successful doing that over the uh, past several months. And so it's something I plan on continuing doing. So you could learn a lot from watching their videos. And if you haven't stopped by their YouTube channel, I would strongly encourage you to do so because you will learn a ton from them. I will put their link in the description section down below. So you could easily just click it, go right over to their YouTube channel, stop by, say hello, learn some things from those guys. They're awesome. Okay, without further ado, starting to head into the top 10 list, I just want to just tell you what the criteria was that I used for coming up with this list. I did not use auction items. I only looked for items that sold on a buy it now best offer basis. And the reason that I did that was to control for what I believe are some most likely fake sales that were put up in auction format. What I mean by fake sales, I mean somebody who set up a, you know, a, a, some shell fake YouTube, uh, not YouTube, sorry, eBay account, uh, just to jack the price up uh, on something to make some kind of point. So a good example of that would be this Maverick uh, camouflage t-shirt by Logan Paul. And if you, if you follow the news, you know, Logan Paul got into trouble recently on YouTube uh, for posting a suicide video in a forest in Japan and really got a lot of negative pushback uh, for it. And so I think, you know, people saw, for example, a shirt like this 
that started off really, really low in terms of what the seller was asking for and just continuously jacked up the price just to make some type of point. So the reason uh, you could tell that is if you just go to the uh, bidding history here, you'll see that the people who were bidding this up were people who had, you know, listed one feedback or, you know, zero feedbacks and they just jacked the price up and continuously made it go, go high. Uh, my opinion, uh, I, I don't believe that these people or this person who actually, you know, wound up winning it actually spent $13,200 for the t-shirt. Again, I just think they were jacking up. So I didn't want to include those in here because it would just give you a misleading sense of what sold. I wanted to put up items here that I uh, had good reason to believe were actual legitimate sales. So with that in mind, let's go to number 10. Number 10 is a Chanel limited edition t-shirt. And you know, Chanel is a popular brand, but what about this particular one made it sell for approximately $3,500? Now, you see there it says best offer accepted, so I can't tell you literally what the exact price is, but I do know from the research that I did on these items that whenever you see an item that I list here that has best offer accepted, uh, the price that it sold for was fairly close to what it shows up there. So it might maybe within like $500 or something like that. But this one did sell for several thousand dollars. So yes, Chanel's a famous brand. But this particular shirt, the reason why it's important is because uh, of what it's associated with. Now, there's a store that many of you who are into fashion are aware of. It's the Colette Concept Store in France and actually closed in December of last year. And this is a very, very famous store that uh, Karl Lagerfeld is, is known to go to, a famous uh, designer for Chanel. And um, they only made 25 of these t-shirts. And th these t-shirts were lined across the store in its final days when it was closing. And what you'll see here is that this is the owner's daughter uh, of the store, and she is wearing the t-shirt, and she is uh, posing for this picture with uh, Pharrell and Justin Timberlake. So what you have there is, you know, the establishment of some type of provenance for the shirt, um, and that is something that helped sell it. So you've got a bunch of different things combined together that made this one popular and sought after. You have a famous brand. You have that only 25 of them were made, so it's a limited amount. You have famous people associated with it. You have proof of ownership. Uh, you have a famous store that is now out of business, and it's associated with its final day. So all those things put together made that t-shirt worth so much that someone was willing to spend that amount of money on it. So, you know, those types of combinations and those proof of ownership pictures, they could really, really help jack up the price of an item. Okay, so that's number 10. Let's move on to number nine. Number nine, Louis Vuitton Supreme Monogram t-shirt. Now, Supreme is fascinating to me, and you're going to see Supreme show up across several of these listings and it just shows you how hot of a brand it is if you're not familiar with supreme supreme is a skateboarding and um, designer um, company and they are really known for this box logo uh, that they have on their t-shirts. Now, the box logo takes many different forms, as you'll see in this video uh, for, for other uh, listings that, that I put up here. But, you know, this box logo, what I mean by that is that, you know, you'll see that there's basically this rectangular box shape and the word Supreme is in it. Now, it's, it's the original box logo for Supreme just says Supreme in it. That's it. And there's no decorations or anything like that. But what the company started to do is put these little decorations around it. And so there are all these different variations of what the box logo looks like. Anything with the box logo on it is worth a ton of money. So if you see it, please, please, please pick it up. You will definitely do well on it. Even if it doesn't have the box logo on it and it just says Supreme like this, it's worth a lot of money. So especially this one because it combines 
the Supreme Box logo with Louis Vuitton. So you have two famous brands that are combined together. Now, of course, with something like this, you're going to see people trying to manufacture knockoffs to try to make a lot of money on it. So if you had an original receipt to back up the authenticity of the item, that could really help as well. So in this particular listing that was put up, the person showed the original receipt. Now the original seat from the best I was able to make it out was that the t-shirt originally cost around $700. So, you know, flipping it for $3,500 is, is great, but you know, you never know. Uh, this is the kind of thing where, you know, if you happen to go to an estate sale and it was a state sale of somebody who was into skateboarding, a uh, close someone in the house was involved in it and happened to have one of these shirts or two of these shirts you know if you didn't know about the supreme logo it just you know for most people just looks kind of nondescript and not really that interesting and you might just pass it up but for people who are in the know they love the logo they love the brand there's a famous artist that's associated with the with the logo and there's all sorts of meanings that people read into it and so they, um, you know, they, they, they love it and they're willing to fork over a lot of money for it. Now, this one also um, was probably increased in value because there were very limited quantities of it that were sold. Uh, they would sell these at pop-up shops around the, around the world. This one actually came from a New York City pop-up shop that, that was canceled uh, due to some uh, rioting. So that made it even more limited. So, you know, that's another thing that you want to look for is you know how limited of a release the shirt has because that's going to jack up the price as well as it will for other items besides t-shirts so let's move on number eight number eight you probably knew the Rolling Stones were going to fit in here somewhere. Concert shirts are very popular. That's actually something that I have done well with in terms of my own reselling are concert shirts. If you see any kind of concert shirt, that especially ones that you know are from a a, a famous, um, a, you know, a famous group that has tour dates listed on the back. They sell really, really, really well. So, this is uh, not a, a tour shirt per se, but it's a, a Rolling Stone shirt that has uh, the Exile on Main Street, um, uh, or I should say, a component of the Exile on Main Street uh, album cover uh, on the front of it. And Exile on Main Street is what some people consider not only the Rolling Stones' best work, but some people consider it one of the greatest albums of all time. It was the Rolling Stones' first double album. So that particular item is something that Rolling Stone fans, you know, really uh, really enjoy, really look for. So if they have some type of clothing that they could wear and display, especially it has the name on it, you see there it says Exile on Main Street. Uh, I'll show you the main picture of the album cover in a minute. Uh, this is the front of the shirt and this is the back of the shirt. So there's the famous Rolling Stone uh, icon. And it actually came from the estate of an employee who ran promotions at Casablanca Records. So that helps to, you know, increase the value a little bit more again about $3,500 you see here this is this um, little kind of snippet or section of the album cover which I want to show you right here there's the main album cover and you can see there's all these different pictures but the one where the t-shirt uh, took something from is right over here right there so uh, and, you know, of all the pictures on here, that does seem to be kind of the weirdest one or the strangest one, you know, compared to this little guy in a tuxedo or this guy in this little wrestling outfit. This one with the guy with all the things stuffed inside of his mouth definitely stands out. So they took the one most distinctive element of it, slapped it on the T-shirt and, uh, you know, wound up selling it for $3,500. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So next one. Here we go. Louis Vuitton popping up again with the Supreme combination. So Louis Vuitton and Supreme, uh, you know, the logo shirts, again, are extremely sought after, uh, as are the box logo shirts, but anything with the logo on it. So, you know, if you zoom in, you could see here, we've got the Supreme logo that's 
on this shirt. Uh, it comes with the receipt. Again, looks like this person spent around $700 for the shirt, was able to flip it for $4,000. That's not best offer. So that's clear $4,000 for this t-shirt. New with tags, that certainly helps. Obviously, if you're selling clothes, anything new with tags is going to sell more than something that uh, doesn't have the tags on it. But again, you know, Louis Vuitton, Supreme, does very, very well. Next one. Now, this is another item that I think that if you're not in the know and you're not doing your research on clothing items, that if you saw this at a garage sale, you very easily might pass it up, especially if it looks a little faded because it does come from the 1970s. Uh, but these are known as the uh, the Nike uh, Geisha or Geisha shirts, and uh, they are extremely rare. They are the, the it's called the pinwheel uh, Geisha, and this this uh, basically this image right here that you see here, and they are considered the rarest type of Nike garment around. Nike did not used to make a lot of t-shirts, especially back in the 1970s. Nowhere near what they're doing now. When they did make t-shirts back then, they were associated with uh, running events. So this one you could see here is called the Cascade Runoff, and it says that on the side of the shirt, which also does help sell it a little bit. But that's not what really, really made this valuable. What made it valuable is the the geisha right up here so uh people will literally spend a lifetime and i'm not exaggerating will spend a lifetime trying to find one of these shirts so if you ever see one definitely pick it up because you pretty much printed yourself around five thousand dollars because that's what this one sold for i mean at least several thousand dollars you wouldn't even want to sell for less than that uh so very 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 important to look out for that if you ever come across it definitely pick it up all right moving on number five here we go again louis vuitton supreme this is the blue version limited release new with tags again and i will tell you there were others that i'm not going to include on this list because i don't want to make it repetitive that were uh, this exact same shirt in blue that sold for five thousand dollars and forty five hundred dollars so this is not a fluke multiple items with the supreme logo that were combined with uh, louis vuitton and new with tags sold for around $5,000. So that's an established market price uh, recently for uh, for this particular um, uh, combination of Louis Vuitton and Supreme. All right, let's move away from that and go on to number four. Number four is Supreme. So we're not getting away from Supreme, but the reason why I have this one up, it, it is different from the, the other shirts. It's a different type of shirt. And <clears throat> this one sold for $6,000. This one is simply a white t-shirt with the Supreme logo on it. Now, that just blows my mind. Just a white t-shirt with the Supreme logo. It tells you the power of that brand. If, again, you see that Supreme logo, please make sure that you pick it up. Uh, there's... Um, all sorts of different ones. Some of them are in red. Some of them are in black. There's also one that is just, you could barely see the word Supreme in the background. And it's kind of scratched out in the front. Uh, so there's like a lot of black scribble across the word Supreme. And that would sell for a lot of money if you found it. And for that one, you could barely see the word Supreme on it. So uh, I just wanted to put this one up here because, again, it just highlights the power of the brand. Very, very interesting. All right, next one. Nirvana. So again, we have another music related item. And, you know, because we might have some kids uh, watching this, I did want to um, just make sure everything is appropriate. And, uh, you know, one of the things that makes Nirvana popular, of course, very famous band, uh, you know, Kurt Cobain, uh, you know, killing himself, caused the demise of the band early on. This particular shirt claims to be from Kurt Cobain's bodyguard. There really was no um, proof that was offered in the listing to, to verify that, but it was from a reputable seller, so that probably helped uh, with that particular claim on this shirt. But the other thing that helps sell it is it's black. Again, it's Nirvana. It's got Nirvana on the sleeve. It's got Nirvana on the front. It's got Nirvana on the back. And 
it has you know kind of a very racy um you know kind of I don't want to say controversial, but probably is controversial. It says, you know, fudge packing, crack smoking, Satan worshiping, mother effer. So, uh, you know, I cut out a little bit of that there just to, um, you know, again, because we might have some kids watching. But this one sold for almost $7,000. Now, it's not actually a t-shirt. It's long sleeve. But I still just included it in here because uh, I thought, you know, just for that sale price would be very interesting for you guys to see. All right, moving on to the next one. Supreme Mo Wax 2015 t-shirt. This one, uh, so again, we've got the Supreme Box logo. Comes from the Saatchi Gallery in London. Only 50 of them were made for friends and family for an event that they had there. And it celebrated the company's 21st uh, birthday. Now, Mo Wax is a, is, a, is a record label, and you could see here, this was the actual event where they uh, combined uh, these different brands together. So uh, it was 2015, at the, again, at the Saatchi Gallery in London. So you have a combination, again, of different factors that made this something that was valuable. Where it came from, famous gallery, limited in terms of the number that were actually produced, and you've got some famous brands associated with, with each other that uh, were involved in this item. So it's got the Mo Wax label right on top, and then it's got the Supreme label right below it. So, And it also actually says the name of the gallery, and it has the date on it. So all those things help make that price go up to approximately $7,000. All right, everyone, we're going to go on to the last and final item. That is Nirvana again. So Nirvana is something that if you see it, you want to make sure you pick it up. Not that every Nirvana shirt is going to make you $7,000 in sales, but it just does go to show the power of the band and the you know, sentimentality that people have towards it, that they're willing to fork over this much money uh, for one of the shirts. Now, this one, again, claims to be from Kurt Cobain's bodyguard. It's from the same seller. The shirt was not available to the public. Now, if you're a Nirvana fan and you're really into it, I mean, you would know which shirts are available to the public and which shirts weren't. So if you have the opportunity to grab a shirt, that was some was associated with somebody who had a close relationship with Kurt Cobain, you're going to want to pick that up and you'll pay a high amount of money for it. And so, um, you know, especially if it's an older one. And so, you know, the Nirvana shirts by definition are going to be, you know, older. They're not going to be shirts from the 2000s, of course. So you're talking shirts in the 90s. So again, this one sold for around $7,000. So uh, incredible that t-shirts uh, could sell for that amount of money. But, you know, depending on what they're associated with, depending on how many were made, depending on the brand name combinations that exist with the particular shirt, depending on what photographs you're able to show in terms of receipts or in terms of uh, proof of ownership, in terms of who wore it before, was it associated with a famous store clo uh, closing, was it associated with a famous gallery or something like that. You know, if you could do a little bit of research on these items and make those kind of associations, uh, you could really, really make a lot of money on just the, these shirts if you're able to find something like this. So, that's it for this particular video. Uh, you know, I do have some other top 10 videos that you might enjoy. So I think I'll link to one down below if you want to check out some of the other ones. So please do. Please make sure if you enjoyed this video that you hit that like button really hard for me. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Very important that you subscribe to the channel. That lets me know that you're liking these videos and that you want to see more of them. That will also give you notifications when other videos are made so you get first dibs on them to check them out and for the first notifications. Um, lastly, just uh, please, again, make sure you check out some of the other videos that I have. Come back, check out for more. Drop comments down below if you found anything interesting here and want to add anything to the discussion, any constructive feedback is always welcome. 
as our positive reinforcing comments. Thanks very much, everyone, and I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.